Hey yo, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the LAFC career where this will be the conclusion to the regular season for season number two, the last episode before we get into the playoffs next time out. We only have a couple of games left and this should be a pretty interesting final few games of the season, especially since we're back on ultimate difficulty and Considering we play Colorado the last two games of the season. They're actually a contender in the Western Conference again this season. I'm probably only going to play one of those games though. Because I'm not really sure how much of uh, how much of Giles Barnes I can handle in one episode. So probably sim one and play one. But those will be the final two games of the season. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the comments from last episode. Starting off with Hyped for the Draft. And actually, I'm, act I'm really hyped for the Draft as well. That's probably... My favorite thing that I've implemented in this series, it's a really, really different way to use the Youth Academy, and it's I, I like it so much that I almost want to use it for, like, even when I'm not doing MLS careers. It's, it's that... I, I like it that much more than just a regular Youth Academy. After you finally beat Seattle, I think you should reward yourself by upping the difficulty to Ultimate permanently, and that's pretty much the plan. Again, like I said last episode, I think we should win the title this season. No matter what difficulty we're on, I think we are the best team in the league. Now, next season, depending on what kind of offers we get in for some of our players in the winter transfer window, that could make things very difficult because I don't think we're going to have the same team come the start of season three that we're going to be finishing season two with. I think a couple of our bigger name players are going to be gone. Who's Christian Martinez? I don't know. I mean, I know there's a Christian Martinez that either plays or played for Columbus Crew, but I will go like one game every season that I play. I'll go an entire game calling Christian Ramirez, Christian Martinez, and I don't know why that happens. And I don't even realize I'm doing it. I just go the entire game calling him the wrong name. And I apologize for that. You would, you think that wouldn't happen since I've had him in two career modes. I had him in Minnesota and I've had him here in LAFC. Still call him Christian Martinez. And I think I did it when he was with Minnesota as well. I, I don't know why I do that. My fighting wandos accepted the fact that the state of California is indeed California. Yes. Yes, it is. Welcome to the Bank of California Stadium. It, the whole state now is the state of California. It's official. It went through legislation and everything. Look it up. It's the state of California. So first up for us today will be a visit from Atlanta United. And this is definitely, definitely not the same team that just won MLS Cup in real life. It's a very stripped down version of that side. No Joseph Martinez. No Hector Villalba. No Gonzalez Perez. No Brad Guzan. It, they've sold all their best players, but such is life in MLS in FIFA 19. But they are just still barely hanging on to a playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Oh, here comes the problem with playing on Ultimate. It's just they're so aggressive and so physical. How did that even... Okay, well, that's one nothing already. I, I don't even know how they got that chance. I, I thought we were going to block... I thought Pacheco was going to block that cross. It might have been partially blocked... But my defenders just flat out didn't go to the ball there. There we go. Horta on this. Turns it back. K okay. in there for Christian Martinez. Ooh. It's... God, I said, I said it again. I called him Christian Martinez again. I don't know why. Now it's stuck in my head because of the comment at the beginning of the video. But Christian Ramirez absolutely hammers that shot. I think through, Michael, uh, through Parker's legs pretty sure that went five hole it did and absolutely bangs it top beans off the roof of the net it's 1-1 one, one. that's that's exceptional ball movement there i like to see that come on ramirez coming forward lays that off nicely horta just about gets that to rossi he's gonna cut it inside has a finesse off the post ramirez all he had to do is tap it in all he had to do was tap it in. It was an open goal and he couldn't put it on. How did he not even get a shot away there? Ramirez on this. He's going to wait on the overlap of Rossi. And there's no one over here either. Both of the defenders went to Ramirez there. And Rossi's coming in with this. He's going to hold it up. Nice move there. Plays it to Horta. And it is 2-1 to LAFC. I had to double check to make sure that was Andre Horta. It is. Beautiful counterattack from the boys. That's what I like to see. It's going to be up here for Lee Wynn. We have a counterattack. 
Let's play it out wide for Moutinho. I'm not even sure why Moutinho is this far forward at this point. It's going to be to Ramirez. Ramirez slides it for Lee. Well, that's the end of the game. Um, I don't know what that shot was from Lee Wayne. That was... Maybe he was distracted by... It was it Hulk that was in front? I, I don't know. It's 2-1, the final score. Uh, we get the three points, and we, we after that initial thrust, that, that initial pressure by Atlanta, we thoroughly dominated that one. So that was it was a good turnaround performance to get that three points. Up next, we have Vancouver. We're staying at home for this one, and we are now one win away from securing our first trophy with LAFC. We're one win away from securing the Supporter Shield. If we can get the win... And I, I, we might get it here. We should be able to beat Vancouver. We do just barely. Rossi gets two and Horta adds one as well. And we do beat them 3-2. So finally, took us nearly two full seasons. But we've got our first trophy. So moving on now to the next one. We have Toronto. And we're going north of the border for this one. Toronto is actually a decent team this year. Which is sort of surprising because A, in real life, they were not good this year. And B, they're not usually good in FIFA. So they're kind of a surprise team. They're in third place in the Eastern Conference right now. But considering we have nothing really to play for over the next three games as we've, as we've locked up the number one spot in the league, I'm going to use this chance to rotate the team a little bit, rest a couple of players. But specifically, the one to keep an eye on is Pena Herrero up top. I haven't really tested that young Spaniard out yet that we picked up off free agency. This is going to be his first real chance against a decent opponent. All right, so this is... Uh, this is another team in Toronto here that all of their big names are gone. No Giovinco, no Michael Bradley, no Josie Altador. We go, nicely done. Hulk over the top. There is the speed of Peña Herrero. First chance for Peña Herrero on his debut. Why didn't he go to the ball? Oh, yeah. What is happening right now? They're just falling all over each other. He, sh he should have scored from that chance. I mean, that this is his debut, and that was his first chance on the field for us. But he should have scored. And here we come again. K laying it for Hulk. Interesting ball to Blessing. Ooh, nice pullback from Blessing. Ball in wide open. There is a goal. I don't know who it is. I think it's Hulk. It's definitely not Peña Herrera. That has to be Hulk. Look, look at, look at. Oh no, it's Diego Rossi. Okay, header by Diego Rossi. Good finish. And there is the first goal of this one. Beautiful ball. Good play all around by, by Latif Blessing on that side. And now for Kay. In the middle for Hulk. And there is you know, Peña Herrero. His speed is just a problem. His finishing is more of a problem. Okay, Hulk's finishing is a problem. What the heck is going on? I, I, can't, I, I can't score goals right now. This is ridiculous. Herrero playing that for Hulk. Somehow the ball finds Blessing. That was not a pass. That was a pure deflection. Ball in there. Back stick. It's Diego Rossi again. Diego Rossi. What the heck is going on? Hulk laying it off for... Oh my god. There is the long shot capability of Andre Horta. And we are punishing this Toronto team. This is still on ultimate. I have not turned it off of ultimate. This is on ultimate, but we're just overwhelming them right now. The passing has been phenomenal from us. The movement has been incredible in this match. And from, from the one play aside where I hit the post and then I couldn't finish with Peña Herrero, the finishing's been pretty good. Vera in there for Horta. Laying it for K. In there for Hulk. Hulk laying it up. That's nicely done for Horta. He's going to get all the way through to the touchline. Pulls it back. Herrero! It's off the side netting. This kid is going to score in this game. He's destined to score. He's had so many chances. All right, we have a corner here. Not really sure who we can aim for. Oh, never mind. I see him. Oh, it was Walker Zimmerman. It falls for Herrero. He's on it. Herrero. Let's lay it up to the top of the box. It's going to be Andre Horta. That's not who you want to see on it. If you're Toronto, he's already scored one. And he almost had a second. Pacheco. Lays it off now for Horta. One touch out of his feet. Horta hits the post. Horta should have a hat trick right now. But Peña Herrero should have at least one or two. We should be destroying Toronto. He just can't seem to put the ball in the back of the net. I mean, you know we have three and we're killing him right now. But still, it should be more than what it is. And there's another chance. It's Horta. This time he does get his second. 
Th I thought this Toronto team was going to be good. I, I really did. I even the, the players that normally start that didn't in this game are on the bench. I, I thought I was going to have a problem with a rotated team. This is a bad team. I, they're not going anywhere in the playoffs if they play like this. Boy, Ricketts somehow squirts through the hole there, but we are back able to get in front of them. That's another good ball out there for Ricketts. Oh, we missed the tackle. That could be a problem. Please mark that. We do mark it, but that's just a really good header. That's that's just not going to be stoppable. I don't know how to say his name, but that was a nice play, and it's they got their consolation goal with less than 10 minutes left. And that is going to do it. Unfortunately, no goal for Pena Herrero in that one. I thought he looked so good in the first half. His speed is definitely a game changer, and that's why I wanted to pick him up. Couldn't quite get the goal, but that's okay. Two from Diego Rossi, two from Andre Horta. That's more than enough. If we can play like that throughout the playoffs, we should be able to cruise to a title. But I know the playoffs are a different monster altogether. That, that's where we really have to buckle down. So we're down to the final two games of this season, both of them against Colorado. This is the team that knocked us out of the playoffs last year. And we're going to sim this first one away. We'll play the last game of the season. Is that a bit of a cop-out on my part? Kind of, because I know they'll either have to A, rotate for the last game, or B, they'll be very, very tired. Giles Barnes is starting in this one as well. Vela gets us off to a good start with the first goal. By the way, I've rotated almost my entire team from the last game against Toronto. Only Brisenio and Ty Miller are staying in the starting 11. But, uh, yeah, we are our depth is just ridiculous. This team that we're playing could beat any starting team in the MLS, I think, at this point. Hulk comes off the bench, gets another one. And that's going to be a 3-0 win at Dick Sporting Goods Park. Not half bad. And for this last one, we're going to put mostly the first choice starting 11 in there to take on Colorado once again. Only a couple of changes. Pacheco played a lot of minutes at right back this season. Hardly ever got any time off. So I'm giving him a bit of an, an, a bit of an extended break to end the season here. And then Vera's going to play at left wing in place of Rossi, who's a bit tired coming back from international break. So the rest of the team... Is what we're gonna see for us in the playoffs I'd like to keep this win streak going I don't even know what it's at right now but I like to keep it going keep that momentum rolling and if we could just beat Colorado if I can beat Colorado that would really really put my mind at rest heading into the playoffs okay on this plays it for Hulk that's a great play Hulk's oh my god I haven't been able to unleash one really with Hulk that was the one of the first ones I had and he fired that I'm pretty sure that defender yeah, that lanky bastard. It hit him in the pills. He is never having kids. Right, Colorado playing it in, and it's it's Sam Nicholson. I'm so fo Barnes is down here far post. I'm so focused on Giles Barnes that I can't. I'm not even defending the rest of the, the other ten players on the field. Don't give a shit. Not even looking at him. I'm just looking at Barnes. He's got me shook. All up here for Hulk. Does a nice job of holding it up. Vera. Gets to that ball just in front of the defender there. Holds that up. Plays it. Hulk. Another one. On this side. Beautiful finish for Christian Ramirez. Ooh, Hulk assisting Ramirez. And I think that might tie up the golden boot race. It's unselfish. I appreciate it. Good team play. And we've got the equalizer. Hulk to Christian Ramirez. Porta over here for Vela. Who cuts it in. Oh, the shot's blocked. Vela absolutely ghosted that man. He's done. His career's over. That was beautiful. Wait, Vela intercepts that ball. Plays it here for Hulk. Hulk again. Ramirez this time does not mess up. Two assists for Hulk and two goals for Superman. It's 2-1 over Colorado. Hulk is literally giving the golden boot to Ramirez at this point. Oh, that's a good ball from Vera to Moutinho. Look at all the numbers we have in the middle here. Hulk laying that off. I'm not sure what happened on that side over there, but uh, it's 3-1. It looked like Mar Ramirez... I almost called him Martinez again. It looked like Ramirez slide tackled the center back and wiped him out. And it just let Horta dribble through and, and score on Tim Howard. That was uh, that's a little unfortunate for Colorado. And we're, we're now starting to dominate this game. Michaels has been freaking phenomenal, and he draws the foul as well. Michaels has just put an end to every single counterattack 
that Colorado has had. And they've had quite a few, but they just result in nothing because Michaels is just lurking back there and not letting anything through. All right, there are 12 minutes left in this game. This is the only time you're going to see this player on the field for us. Joe Bendick is going to make probably his only appearance of the game. If he somehow manages to screw this up in 12 minutes, I will end him. Uh-oh. Oh, Joe Bendick made a save, boys. Joe Bendick is actually having a mad one. He has stopped a cross and made a save. Are, are you kidding me? He knows how to play keeper. I, I didn't think it was possible. Okay, puts that ball in there for Ramirez. How did they block? That was the hat trick. That was going to go in, and he blocked. I don't know how he blocked it. That lanky bastard that Hulk hit the pills stopped Ramirez's hat trick. That's okay. It, it is the three points in the end. We absolutely look unstoppable right now. I told you. We should win the title this season. Even on Ultimate, nobody should be beating this team. So the last day of the regular season actually had a massive impact on the playoff picture in both the West and the East. So in the Western Conference, we obviously finish in the top spot in the regular season on 80 points. That would be an MLS record. Uh, Sporting Kansas City finished 17 points behind us, but they were well clear of Seattle in third place. No surprise. Again, Seattle didn't have their star striker for half the season. Uh, San Jose finishes in fourth place. LA Galaxy move up into fifth. And Houston finish in sixth with those two losses that Colorado took to us in the last two games of the season. They fall out of the playoffs altogether. A little bit disappointed in that. I wanted to face them in the playoffs. I wanted some revenge on them, but... I guess eliminating them from the playoffs before the playoffs is kind of a little bit of revenge. Not quite as sweet, but it'll do. And then in the East, DC finish in the top spot on 61 points ahead of NYCFC on goal difference. Actually, DC United had the second best goal difference in MLS this season. I told you, I told you when we lost to them pretty convincingly at home at one point. They were a good team. They proved it right there. They only gave up 31 goals. That was second best in the league to us who gave up 30 goals. That's very, very, very impressive. I, I, I would expect to see them possibly in the MLS Cup final, but we'll have to see how things play out. New York Red Bulls finished two points back. Toronto fall to fourth, four points back. And then I don't know what happened to Atlanta. There were five games left when we played them. They managed in those five games to fall 10 points behind Columbus and Montreal and fall completely and not even close. They fall all the way out of the playoffs and, and I don't know. I don't know what happened. They completely fell apart. So here is what the first round of the playoffs is going to look like. Toronto will be taking on Montreal. New York will take on Columbus. In the West, it's going to be Seattle and Houston. San Jose and LA Galaxy. A, bit, a little bit of a Cali Classico going on there. So it's a one-game playoff. We'll see which teams advance. And before we find out who we will be facing in the next round of the playoffs, I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at the Golden Boot race. And actually, in MLS, the Golden Boot also includes the playoffs. I don't really like that because that gives some players extra games to score more goals. It should just include the regular season and that's it. So I'm going to count it as just the regular season. And Christian Ramirez is the golden boot winner. Hulk. Hulk was leading. He was leading this race by one heading into the last game. And literally passed it away to Ramirez. Two assists for Hulk in the last game. Two goals for Ramirez. That's incredibly, incredibly unselfish. And I hope, if it comes down to it, that Ramirez can repay that favor in the playoffs. And so we have the results back now from the first round of the playoffs. Montreal knocks out Toronto 4-3 on penalties. In the, other, in the other Eastern Conference game, it's New York Red Bulls beating Columbus. Not surprised. New York is very, very solid. And in the Western Conference, we have Seattle knocking out Houston 2-1. And the LA Galaxy come out on top 1-0 over San Jose. So let's find out what that means and who we're going to be facing in the conference semifinal. In the Eastern Conference, we have Montreal taking on NYCFC and New York Red Bulls taking on DC United. That would be a very, very good playoff matchup right there. In the West, it's LA Galaxy and Sporting Kansas City. 
and we will be taking one more trip up the I-5 to CenturyLink Field in Seattle to take on the Sounders one more time this season. That's how I wanted it. To be honest, I wanted the Sounders. They have the dynasty right now. For us to start building ours, we have to knock them out. The fact that they got rid of their striker doesn't matter at this point. That's still the team to beat, in my opinion, and we have to get the job done. And with that, we're going to end it there for today. The playoffs are upon us. And next time out, we start our playoff series against the reigning champion, Seattle Sounders. We start off at home, which, according to MLS rules, doesn't make any fucking sense because we should be on the road. But that's how it was last season, too. So, you know, it's FIFA, I guess. I, I, have, no, I have no explanation for that one. But we'll be at home for the first one at Bank of California Stadium. And then we're off to CenturyLink Field for the second leg. And it should be a banger. So, that's it for this one. If you did enjoy it and you're looking forward to the playoffs in Season 2, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you when we come back for the playoffs. See ya.